Welcome to the 52 Love Podcast, your show for 52 lessons in 52 weeks. Before we dive in, remember you can find the audio version of this episode, along with the rest of the series, on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor, and Radio Public. And now, here's your host, Ms. Tanya Todd. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the last episode of the 52 Love Podcast. I am your host, Tanya Todd. As many of you know, 52 Love began as a blog series, 52 Love Lessons in 52 Weeks. This year, we have explored each of those tips with a new guest each week. This week's tip is a little bit different. It is to enjoy a New Year's Eve celebration with your partner. And here to help me talk about it is my guest, Hope. Would you like to introduce yourself and please tell us what you do? Hello, thank you, Tanya. I really appreciate it. My name is Hope Whitworth. I'm the owner and head designer of Imagined Events. Um, we're a full event coordination and design company. And yeah, we just love bringing happy moments to everyone. So part of what makes this week different is that New Year's Eve is a particular day. You know, there's a date involved. And since the tip involves a specific date, we can't have the show come out on that date because then people won't have time to prepare. And it's not possible to have someone come on the show after trying the tip because the date hasn't happened yet. So what we are going to do is discuss the tip and help you to create the most memorable and wonderful experience for our last tip, which is to enjoy that one-on-one -on -one New Year's Eve celebration at home, just the two of you. So I brought on an expert in party planning. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So what are your thoughts on this topic, Hope? I believe um, making impactful moments is one of the best things you can do, especially on a holiday like this. People tend to make resolutions. Um, and so my family, we really try to do something to that aspect as well. And I believe that in a relationship, uh, you could do the same thing. Uh, I think it would be awesome to possibly plan for an every hour type of thing where you guys can take the time to express how much you love each other or some amazing things that have happened in the year, share magical moments or even something you want within the year. Every hour, express something impactful to the individual that you love and make that last one really impactful. We, you know, usually do it with my family, which can get crazy, of course, but <laughs> it's fun. It's a, it's, and you remember those things, you know, and you know um, what your partner or loved one enjoy about you. So I think just taking the time to really think a couple of hours, you know, you want to say something, I think it'll make the most of the night and, and really help throughout the next year. That's a really good tip. Oh, I'm thank curious you. what you think are some ways that people can do to prepare for the evenings. What are, what are some setup tips that you can give them about before so you get started, say, before you have the actual events? And I love the idea yeah. of having an out. You're celebrating every hour. You know, your, your yeah. countdown is doing something on the hour, every hour toward that big moment. So I love that idea. Yeah. But how do people set up for the evening? Where do they start? So... Um, I would say plan your hour, what you're going to say, what you're going to do, resolution, mm -hmm. uh, heartfelt moment, definitely write it down and have your partner do the same and um, figure out where you want to do this. Make it a special place, whether out on your patio, in your bedroom, just make it really um, warm, you know, and moonlight the spot, I would say. And also, uh, you know, whatever the touch may be, depending on what I'll give an example, um, our, my, my mom's big moment that I did for her last year was her 60th birthday. I threw a surprise party. And so I had like another little gift, you know, from her party. It was a little slideshow that I just gave on like a, a video card thing where she could see everything. And mm -hmm. I was like, this the most bringing my family together and 
enjoying your party. She loved it. She could review that, you know, she could remember. And so it's just about to your partner about and how you think they will keep that in mind. Because although this is New Year's, you know, you want them to remember this moment or what you discussed or what you promised or Mm -hmm. what you said throughout your year, you know? Yeah, very much. I hope that helps. It does. (laughs) What are some of your decorating tips for an event like this? Um, if at home, and, and I wanted to also say it doesn't, it, even though it can be at home, it doesn't have to necessarily be in the house. You know, okay. everyone's trying to get outside. So backyard picnicking is really nice. Uh, Christmas lights, because they really add the ambience. Um, and you can do the same thing. Provided you're in an area where it's not freezing. (laughs) Absolutely. That too. But even in that case, preparation is always great. I think when you really, um, take your time to providing the place, uh, you always have like heating lamps or fire Mm -hmm. log fires. Yeah. That can be very romantic too. Exactly. Exactly. You just have to plan ahead. Um, and, and we help with that kind of thing here in Vegas is very popular for people to do what we offer a sweet surprise. So in an instance like that, it's rose petals, candles, Mm. you know, flowers, and it's not just for Valentine's love is a 24 hour, 365 kind of thing, you know, agreed. (laughs) Yeah. So you really can do it anytime. And and this is a great moment, you know, really express love and balloon. I mean, whatever. The, it, it, it can be individualized because some women don't like flowers. Some women don't, you know. And some men do. Your, that's right. That's right. Just about knowing your partner and making it a celebration. I think um, people downplay the part of preparing to celebrate. It's like we're at dinner. That's great. And it's like <laughs> the extra little things, you know, really make it a moment um, and an impactful moment. So could you give us some examples of ways to decorate for the different types of people? Because some will want to go big and go all out and others want a quiet, intimate setting. So can you give us a few examples of options Absolutely. for those? We'll start with intimate. Um, I think it's always good. It, candles are, are all around. You, you can never have too many candles. Keep it safe. But um, I think intimate can be even dinner in bed. You know, that's mm-hmm. that's an amazing one. Table tray, um, even prepped chef food, depending on, you know, how you want to do it or order in whatever favorite, yeah. you know, restaurant. Um, but keep it where it's no distractions. It's you and that person, you know, and things that bring you two together. Um, You can, they have these games now where there's a, it comes with a package. I have to get the name of this because I, a client referred this to me, but it comes with a tablecloth, uh, you know, candles, (laughs) uh, you know, it's beautiful. And you ask each other questions. It's just a beautiful setup. So intimacy, it could be a bubble bath. Okay, literally bathroom setting. Literally, you are definitely on brand here. (laughs) Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is what I do. This is what I do. I like that she's saying Um, that the tips that I've recommended this year are on point. So thank you. Please continue. (laughs) (laughs) It just, it just, um, it just depends on the person, like you said. Now, if you're one of these people who go all out and or you're not, but your spouse or significant other is, Mm -hmm. I would suggest taking their likes and running with it. Just go with what you know. You know, it doesn't have to be hard. Hire someone to help you with that. Do you have any recommendations (laughs) on who might be available to help party plan like that? Yes, I do. (laughs) Imagine events. (laughs) We are ready for it all. And I can even, uh, you know, people in my field, whether you're in my state or not, or whatever the case may be, um, you know, are usually able to ask the right questions to find out what kind of person this is we're providing this elaborate or not so elaborate moment for. 
And uh, I like to lead in my um, company with what do you want your spouse to feel? What do you want the mood to be when they arrive or see or, you Mm -hmm. know, walk in the room? And that'll really help you set the tone for what you really need to provide. I like that. What do you want the person to feel? Yes, that's it. And when you feel things uh, that, you know, light you up or embrace your heart, uh, you're probably not going to forget it. You know what I mean? It's going to last with you for years to come. What about music? How do you incorporate music into the planning? Oh, yeah, that's an easy one. Speaker or your phone or, (laughs) you know, we could hire a DJ if you need to. (laughs) It just depends on how you know, crazy, you want to go, you could do balloons. Balloons are such- I don't know that a DJ would work for an intimate evening for two. (laughs) That could get awkward. (laughs) Let me tell you something that I did. Um, The senior center here at, uh, in Henderson, there's a lady who turned 90 this year. Her husband and her have been married for 45 or 46 years. This was earlier in the year. That's amazing. He played every, he had a DJ, just the two of them. Beautiful setup in the senior center because she loves to go there and played every song that they used to dance to in their anniversaries, their wedding. I mean, that's wonderful. Talk about tearjerker. Just depends on the moment, depends Mm -hmm. on what you need, you know? He sat there and we went through it all. We planned the whole thing top to bottom and a DJ was just what he needed. You know what I mean? It was yeah. the best. Stop here, go when Have you need Have someone to. to handle that for you. Exactly. And you could just focus exactly. on your partner, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you think, but you, you just never know. It, it could be what you need. And that's the whole thing of having someone to help you. What are some last minute problems you think people might have and solutions for those problems? You know, <laughs> I'm one of these people who I try to always anticipate something to go mm-hmm. wrong. So um, in in moments like this, because normally it's just the two of you, you can, I would say, put that on your checklist. What could go wrong mm-hmm. uh, from not having utensils, believe it or not, because I've done like car setups <laughs> where people are like in the back truck, you know, with the blanket, food, everything ready to go and no utensils. Just kind of think your way through what you're trying to do. Um, let's see, what else could go wrong? Audio problems, that, that's a given. That happens in everything. I don't know, just always, I would say no matter what goes wrong, because anticipate that something will, mm-hmm. um, try to make the moment, regardless if something is missing or not. It's not going to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. Um, and just... You know, even if the lighting were to go out, you know, light a candle if it wasn't already lit and still make it what you need it to be, you know, still Mm -hmm. overcome. Don't let anything stop you from having your moment. I think that's the best I could I could come up with because that's what I do. Um, I'm sometimes I'm prepared for things, but sometimes I'm not. But being able to think about it, not let it get to me. I know what my end result, what I want in the end. I want to be able to make my client or my loved one happy. Mm-hmm. And I just do whatever it takes to get to that. Sounds like you try to live up to your name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it just comes to me. It's not even me urging. It's just the way I am and, and what I believe in. And I love making people happy. So, yeah. <laughs> what about beverage choices? Well, it depends on the person. Um, So some people... Let's do some alcohol versions and some non-alcoholic versions. Okay. Um, So I think knowing, like I said, all this is knowing your partner, but maybe having your specialty cocktail, maybe even making a name for it. You just got to make it fun, you know? Yeah. And refer to it as that the entire evening. And then I'm, I'm sure it will stick. So that may be another something that lasts through the year. Um, same with non-alcoholic. I think in that tip there, it, it really doesn't matter. But I would say 
fun spritzers. Um, it's good to use club soda to give it a little spark, something fun in the glass, strawberry or cranberry or, you know, something like that to give it some jazz. I even sometimes freeze berries in ice cubes mm-hmm. to, you know, still keep the frozen cold kind of thing going. But, but it, it makes it a festive. Little pop of, yeah, a little pop of something. Um, and same thing with alcoholic, you can infuse whatever, um, you're bringing to it. So say it's a Bellini, you know, you could soak your, your, uh, your peaches and whatever it is that you're drinking, you know, the night before it's just about preparation. Um, but definitely if you're going to have a cocktail, make it fun, add it to what you have going on. Did I miss anything? We've covered um, food I'm options. Sure. We've covered decorations, music, drinks. Yes. Drinks. Troubleshooting. Just, yeah. All in all, enjoy yourself. Some people get caught up in what we do, which I think is great, but some people stress, but that takes the glory and the, the good time out of it. My number one tip in all of this would be to enjoy yourself, you know, enjoy making that other person's night or each other's night. Mm-hmm. Try mm-hmm. to um, keep a, an open heart about it and, and not worry about the small things. Because in the end, uh, all this extra stuff is really the small things. you know, the love is what's supposed to outshine everything. That's right. Though there is one other thing that probably wouldn't fall under your category, but that's to dress for the occasion. You know, this is a New Year's celebration. So whichever style you're going for, whether it's, you know, intimate, you might want satin robes or you might want to just put on your most sparkly (laughs) outfits, you know, and go for it. (laughs) I'm one of those people who love to dress up. I mean, I love to dress up given the time. And I just think that being... Um, in your best, it brings mm-hmm. the best, you know, best moments. And sometimes your best is what you're born in. Hey, who knows? You right? know I mean? <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> matter. Make it your moment and, uh, and, and definitely stick with that. Go with a plan. It's always good to plan. Get your plan together and whatever it calls for, whether it be just a bow tie or a three piece suit, you know, go all out. And something that your tip inspired me, like just during this episode, I was thinking okay. that something that we could leave the audience with is, okay, let's say you hadn't realized this game before before this episode, this game of yeah. coming up with something. Definitely do it this year. But going forward yeah. in the next 12 months, you could plan to just keep notes on some of your favorite moments throughout the year and have something for each month that you can discuss on the hour and have a new year celebration next year, starting at noon, leading up to midnight and just on the hour, every hour, share one of those tips from the year, from the 12 months. Isn't that amazing? See, that's what it's about. And it builds, um, you're counting on this all year, you know, Mm -hmm. anticipation. It's exciting because when something amazing happens, you can't wait to remind this person that you remembered or it it impacted you the way it did. Um, And, you know, believe it or not, this day and age, you don't see the longevity in relationships like you used to, you know, people 40, 50 years. And it's because of things like this, you know, really taking the effort to make things matter. And they're going to notice that. So I would definitely count on next year, do it this year and, uh, and keep doing it. Yeah. And then you're, you're looking for those moments of gratitude to share on new year's each year. And you can do that. Even if you celebrate with other people next year, you can just have that out, just that steal that moment. That's just for the two of you, you know, don't you love that? Yeah. So tell me how you got started in this industry. What inspired you to become a party planner? So my family and I have actually been doing or loving events as long as I can remember. Um, We used to have weddings at our house years when I was younger. And Mm -hmm. to this day, my mom is still my partner in crime. 
So uh, we really just took the time to say, man, we, this is what we love to do. Why not do it for a living? Why not make a career out of this? And, you know, my mom's like, no, people don't make money doing this. And I'm like, oh, I think they do. I yes, they, they do. do. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first one to take the leap. And believe it or not, in my family, there's three avenues. Um, Imagine that. that we... Hope had hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> right. That was accidental. <laughs> oh, I know, but it worked. It worked. And uh, yeah, so as a family, I contract my graphic designer and and my props people. Uh, and it, it just it inspires me, number one, because it's family. That's number two, past God in my life. And uh, we just love it. You know, it's it's crazy how people downplay celebrating from birthdays to holidays to just life. And I feel like when I can help people make those magical moments that they look back on for lifetimes to come, it uh, it makes me happy. That's that's really it in a nutshell. That is wonderful. But I have to ask, mm -hmm. did you say props department? Yes. No, <laughs> How does that not. work? I'm an actor, so that's a different um, thing for me. <laughs> yeah. So my cousin, her name is Ebony. She owns Creative Collection. She builds whatever I need from a blue Barbie box that you stand in to take photos to right now I have Candyland props outside my house, birthday props. I mean, if you saw our storage and garage, you'd be like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fantasy yeah. land yes yes it's it's amazing and it's just those added things people don't think of and it's like this is what you need and it really brings it all together when you're running with a theme you know yeah it, it really adds th those extra touches I didn't realize that props were a part of party planning that's really, oh my goodness like it has its own its own department that's kind of cool Oh my God. And the crazy thing is I'm here in Las Vegas, but it's just up and coming when you're in cities like Houston and mm -hmm. Chicago, California, there are full blown prop houses where they do industry. And I think here in Vegas, it's not so crazy because we have the uh, conventions and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, but it's coming. People are moving here rapidly. And so yeah. we're ready. We are ready. What's the coolest prop you guys have ever used? My favorite is this Barbie house. Um, she built an actual Barbie box out of wood. The client wanted a blue Barbie event. It was a sleepover for mm -hmm. a 30 year old. Um, <laughs> hey. I know. <laughs> but One of my guests recently said, I won't yuck on other people's yum. And I am yeah. stealing that. <laughs> I mean, at first I was like, okay, this is interesting. And then when we got you it, want it, go for it. Go find your happy, you know? It was amazing. She had matching pajamas for everyone. They had an overnight bag. I mean, no, no thought was not, you know, everything was teed and dotted. Yeah. It was amazing. It was super cool. And you could go in and out this Mattel box and take pictures all night. And it was just great. I'm like, dude, when I hit 40, I'm going crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. why not, right? Why not? <laughs> it's, especially when it's what you do, you know? So I'm excited for that. And tell us about the name of your company. Who named the company and how did it, how did you come about that name? You know, I don't even know where I came up with Imagined. Um, it just came to me one day, I want to say. I used to it's so funny because I've honestly known that I was going to plan parties since I was probably in the seventh or sixth grade. I even had a, a little card made up because you could go online and make business cards like Vista print back in the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did that for my friends. I would always show up early and I was called um, fairy tale events back then, <laughs> which is so crazy. And I, I stayed with that when helping people. And then uh, when I decided to go 
when I decided that I was going to go full blown, um, I spoke with a, a representative. I'm like, no, I got my name. I'm so ready. I've been doing this for years. And and he's like, okay, well, what's your name? And I said, oh, fairy tale events. And he's like, oh, can you do corporate parties for fairy tales? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So it just really, re- he said, you're putting yourself in a box. Yeah. And I think you just need to revamp what you have the right ideas. Just revamp what you're doing. And I thought, okay, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to think this through and imagined is what I came up with um, because I have this huge imagination and I just changed the I to an E and, and ran with it. And this is where I am today and it hasn't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I, I'm I'm glad I did. And it's been a success so far. I'm actually going to do a corporation next year so I can put a couple of um, businesses under Imagine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's going well, Congratulations. Good. That's very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any themes that you wish someone would hire you to create? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I am dying to do a masquerade ball oh that is like, nice oh my gosh that is like dream hitter right there um i do you let me know of... when that happens so i can crash oh. <laughs> yes yes i can do plus one or two don't worry <laughs> I will let you know. like who is she yes. who cares look exactly. at her mask it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> and it's so risque and yeah. you know fun you, know, you don't they're know they're so sexy is. exactly oh my gosh that and um I think a holiday ball as well I love big big that's my thing I just booked a really big clients my real first like 400 plus mm-hmm. um events but I'm ready for the big you know I'm tired of I'm not tired but I'm so regular when it comes to doing easy things that mm-hmm. I, I need a task or you're ready to go something. outside your comfort level right man I'm, I'm so ready and so I think something large and upscale and something different you know but definitely the masquerade ball that's coming though I'm gonna find somebody yeah, put it out so there gonna, put it out in the world yeah, someone's absolutely. going to find you <laughs> oh that's right we're gonna find each other <laughs> Well, on that note, why don't you share with the audience the best place to find you if they would like to hire you for an event or if they just want a consultation? Absolutely. So best um, way to reach me is my website. Um, And we do have our consultation, you know, questionnaire there. Mm -hmm. And that is events, E-V-E-N-T-S, imagined, E-M-A, that's an E-M-A-G-I-N-E-D dot com and um same on instagram or facebook both will pop up and yeah just reach out i even sometimes you know talk coordinate not coordinate but discuss with people via messenger just because you know everyone's not always so tech savvy they have this they have that you know, you're supposed to be everywhere. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, but definitely give us a call. I also have a business line. Um, and uh, our representative get right back to you within, you know, half an hour. And that's 702-772-4456. Very nice. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. It was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And the same. You, I believe you were the first guest I've had on the show that I've never actually talked to before yeah. doing this. Like I, I, I invited you on because of your expertise. You weren't someone that I already knew. Awesome. That's wonderful. Well, it's always great to put a face with a name. And I really enjoy this. You have a wonderful, wonderful personality and Thank spirit. You. And it was enjoyable. I was nervous, I must say, but it's <laughs> very easy. 
<laughs> well, thank you very much for doing this. And thanks for being part of my last episode. This has been an amazing year. I thank all of you for your support and your love and your feedback. And I hope that we improved over the over the months, you know, <laughs> as we went from the very yeah. beginning. And I didn't know what I was doing. I appreciated your comments and your feedback. I tried to implement them. And I think that we made something really beautiful here. And I appreciate all of you for being a part of that. <sighs> Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you very much for doing this. Thank you, Stephen, for being a part of this journey. I just feel like there are so many amazing people who helped me get to this last episode. I want to thank Charles Larson and Troy Vogel for doing my song, Mike Burton for doing my, my logo and helping me get this amazing shirt. He was also one of my guests. I want to thank BZ The Voice because what better voice could possibly introduce a show? And I feel like I'm forgetting other people, but I just want to say I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for helping me to get to this place in my journey and have an amazing new year, an amazing new year celebration. And remember to treat love as a verb. Thank you. <laughs>